Your favorite girl, Millie in the city, with my beautiful, beautiful co-host, J.V. Jones. I got you. The real J.V. <laughs> the real J.V. Jones. Welcome to our talk radio show, Connect the City, guys. On this show, we're going to cover the entire gamut on politics, entertainment, relationships, celebrity and trendy news, and current events, and we're going to connect it all to the city. So let's jump right in. Tonight's hot topic is... Hot Topics! <laughs> I love the way you said it! <laughs> I love it. AKA, also known as BKA, better known as Hashtag I Can and Hashtag I Cannot Topics. It's been a tremendous week. Since we got off the radio last week, our news lines, our phone lines, our email lines, everything has been blowing up with all these hot topics. We want to jump right into it. We are on Facebook Live, guys. We've got guests calling in. We're going to talk about everything tonight, from Trump to the march to the OJ Chase Part 2. I didn't name it that. The DAC named it that, and I'm throwing him under the bus because I think it's the funniest thing I've ever heard. The situation wasn't funny, but the chase was funny, guys. Let's get right into it. Let's uh, let's let, let's just go get our callers in right now, JV. Um, we have um, last four digits of five one three one. Call you on with Connect the City. May we have your name? Hi, Miss O. Miss hey, O. o. How, How are, are you, you? beautiful? <laughs> Hi, guys. Don't we miss Good her? Good to hear from you. Today I saw a, a, an email that popped up to Twitter. And I'm Yay! While I'm driving home, so oh. I'm like off the radar. I don't know anything. Yes, it's you know. Oh yeah, but I I got you because we're going on. JV and I are going on spring break. We are not inviting anybody. We are not doing any of that. What we are doing is we're going on spring. We taking a little spring hiatus. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You want? We gonna be. You've been on. You've been on. <laughs> you've been on spring break all this time. We have our caller five five one six. Call you on to connect the city. May we have your name? Good evening, JV. Good evening, Millie. This is Ed. Good How evening, Ed. Ed. How are you? Always a pleasure. All right. So you know, please say hello to our beautiful Miss O. Yeah, hello, Miss O. Hi. How are you? Wonderful. Yeah, we, we miss Miss O, so we just trying to keep her on the line for like two, three <laughs> hours, right, JV? <JB? laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, look, it's been a crazy, crazy week. We got off the show last week. What did we talk about last week? We talked, oh, the end uh, of the um, March Madness, and then hey, none of mine goodness. got picked, but I digress. Um, be quiet, JV. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. How many am I? Oh, my God. Okay. Anyway, guys, look, look, I don't want to hear it. That's why, I, you know what, don't even do this subject. Don't even, when it comes out, they just, just say, you know. Uh, look, we've had a huge, huge week. I want to start the show off. <laughs> I want to start the show off with what I call, because the DAC called it that, and the DAC is Daryl A. Carter, everybody. Throw him on the bus. Last week, there was the OJ Chase Part 2. I don't know where he got the name from, but it's hilarious. Did you guys see the chase in Houston, Texas? Miss O, did you see it? Ed, did you see it? I see it. Oh, it was a slow I chase. Oh, Ed, oh, Miss O, it was a oh, slow, was so funny, live chase. It was worse than the OJ chase. It was. Work. Guys, it was so, because at first I thought this has got to be some kind of joke, right? Yes. And so it would go slow, and then it would stop. And then I'm on the live feed. I felt bad because I'm like, if he move again, I'm, I'm going to lose it. Oh, he moved again, right? Yes, yes. yes he did. <laughs> I thought he ran out of gas. I just didn't know. The police, you could see him running to get back in the car. It was awful. Then he turned around in traffic, and then they blocked him off. Oh, my God. How long did this last, JB? Two long. Two long. Oh, it's not funny. I'm so sorry, Lord Jesus. I'm so I was sorry. just thankful they didn't shoot him down. Oh my gosh. So okay. what happened was a newly <laughs> it's not funny, JV, I'm so sorry. A newly Okay. It's funny. Being it was so funny. Oh, okay. it was so funny. Oh, I thought he was gonna jump over, but the FBI was waiting him on the waiting for him on the other side. <laughs> crazy. Oh I can't. Oh I can't. Alright, so a newlywed he was <laughs> 
This isn't funny though. Okay, the chase was funny, but a newlywed accused of pistol whipping his wife before leading police on nearly a two hour chase from Baytown into Houston is behind bars. His name is Eric Brown. He's black and he's JV. How do you whip a newlywed? I can't. I mean, 42, charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon and a felony evading arrest in a motor vehicle. Um, I, I think it should go on Comedy Central. That's how funny it was. Um, Baytown police responded to the 911 call from a woman saying her husband had just pistol whipped her. When they arrived at the scene, the victim pointed at Brown and he took off in his SUV. Mm -hmm. I thought it was the funniest. Guys, mm -hmm. you've got to pull it up. Mm -hmm. You have got to pull it up to see this chase. You'll be like, you got it. And then I just got bored. I, I just, just got up. He just Me blew too. my life. I had something to do. Exactly. Yeah, so um, I'm surprised you guys didn't see that. It was, was got to be the funniest thing you've ever seen. Nobody saw it? I know. It, well, you know, I get the notification, so it came up. and I Ed, watched, you didn't and I see that like, at all. Wow, so funny, Ed. How funny was that? Uh, but I no. I didn't see that, but I think. There was one where a guy was in a minivan and he was going like two miles an hour, but I don't know. If that, that was, was the same uh, it was, it was, and then he turned around. You know, you know what it reminded me of, JV. Before we get off this subject, have you ever ordered an Uber and now you can see where the Uber goes and you can see the Uber turn around a little bit and go another way? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. Well, it was so funny to me, though. Is am I bad? I'm going to hell. Well, I, I think the funniest part for me was when I thought he was trapped and, he oh. was <laughs> and you know it was going to end. And then I looked up again and he started moving again. I'm like, what? I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm um, dead. That's okay, really lost. okay, lost. Okay, <laughs> lost. Guys, um, we're on Facebook Live. We have a lot of people checking in. Uh, JV, uh, who you got over there? Uh, oh, gosh, everybody's checking in today. Oh, okay, so good. I, I get to give the good news, huh? Yeah, the you person, get to give. my favorite person. Oh, I, look, I didn't set it up okay. that way. Well, guys, you know what? <clears throat> Excuse me. This man, I swear to goodness, he must put a breaking news on the TV every hour. <laughs> on the, I'm not even going to say every day. How about every hour? <laughs> But Trump orders ban on most transgender troops, I'm sorry, yet final policy rests in courts. President Donald Trump banned some transgender service <sighs> members from serving in the U.S. military, saying transgender individuals with a history or diagnosis of gender dysphoria are unable to serve unless under limited circumstances. <sighs> Okay. okay, so let me ask you a question. Did anybody hear about this one? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah, I read So the gender dysphoria, I should have looked it up, and I thought I knew what it meant. Does anybody know what that actually means? Or they're, what is it, they're kind of in, you know, in delusion about what they are as a transgender? Or, I mean, what difference does... <laughs> With PTSD. Hashtag I can't. Hashtag I can't. I think the key word is transgender. I okay. As long as what do you guys right? <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys think about that? I, I kind of thought this situation was kind of over. Apparently, it's not. Let me look at. Yeah. Well, personally, I think again it's another diversion. Oh yeah. To yeah. He's trying to do. Um, as far as gender dysphoria, I mean that's. It's basically talking about somebody's mental state, but oh, that's what I think. Yeah. Else, you know, and we can go ahead and talk about the gun control. You know, oh yeah, we here and say they yep. don't want that because it's an infringement on their on their their Second Amendment right. However, it's not an infringement because you're simply trying to weed out those that do not need those type of weapons or any weapon period. So Trump is using this to get away from Yes, we know. Right. What is it? What's the big topic with this clown? Oh, oh yeah. Well, that's no, we 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 gonna get to that. Uh, we, yes. it, uh, my goodness, guys. Oh my goodness. So, 
Well, this, this was huge last week. Um, I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I didn't bother to go down there, but the survivors of the deadly shooting rampage at Parkland, Florida High School, um, high school led hundreds of thousands Saturday uh, in a march for our lives, events across the country. Did any of you guys go to that? No. No, what they them. Yeah, um, so they, you know, basically delivered a resounding message to Washingtonians in action of the uh, scourge of gun violence is no longer acceptable. I don't know if you guys watched it, but I saw like almost every news story. The speeches were amazing. The kids were yeah. amazing. I got it. I forgot that little girl's name. I put her up on DC Nightlife. Uh, I think I put up on Million in the City also and Connect the City. Mm -hmm. The young lady, she, basically she got up and said something. I got to pull it up, but she um, she was a young black girl and she was like, basically I wrote this speech. I'm 11 years old, but the way she did it, she made it seem like people would think that I didn't write this speech myself, but believe me, I did just because we're 11 in a few short years, exactly. in several more years, I'll be able to vote. That's oh, it was beautiful. It was a beautiful, beautiful guess thing. Guess she's not voting for? Guess <laughs> <laughs> he's not going to write. Um, so I love that. More importantly, what I love was um, after the children marched for their lives, Pope Francis urged young people to keep shouting. Love that, Pope Francis. Love, love, kisses to you. He had a solemn Palm Sunday service. He urged young people to not allow older generations to silence their voices. Um, did you guys know that Pope Francis did that? Uh, wasn't it great? Wasn't it amazing? What do you what, what do you guys think about what do you think about the march? I mean what did you think about all of those young people coming together? Do you think this will make a difference? Yes. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was, I was just saying, I think that it's just really good. Yeah. I think it's a great thing that they are doing that and they're all coming together because, I mean, this is something that affects them. And my daughter is in school, and even since this happened in Florida, they've actually had threats of kids, you know, someone coming with a, a gun to her school and stuff. So, you know, uh -huh. oh, we as wow. parents or we as adults really don't know what these kids go through or feel like going to school every single day and not really knowing if this is going to happen in their school. So I think by them doing that, it, you know, really put out there that, listen, this is serious. This is not something that you can just easily push under the rug. I hope and pray that it makes some noise, you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, but when you're dealing with, with people who are led by their ego, then I feel as though it's, it's really kind of hard to say whether or not it would really actually make some, some moves, you know. Mm -hmm, but I hope mm -hmm. so. And... Um, I, I think it was an excellent display of the next generation of voters. Oh. And that's yeah. what really has these people scared. And they're trying to discredit them. Of course, they're using stuff like the liberals are putting them up to it. But these are young kids that actually, you know, it's a lot different than when we grew up. They're paying attention to politics. I mean, I, I know when I was growing up, we didn't care about politics until we were in our point. Now kids are paying more attention to it in junior high and high school. So you have a good generation of people coming up that's speaking out, and they're very afraid. Now, I will say this. There is talk now about amending the Second Amendment. Mm -hmm. However, that could be good and bad. Okay. It could be good because it will put into place the things that need to be done so that folks who want to just buy, I, I mean, I still can't wrap my head around people that need to own 40 guns just... Yeah, I agree. But it also could be bad because if they amend the Second Amendment, then that gives them open invitation to amend other things, and we know already we have a hard time. So it's, it's kind of a double-edged sword. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Right, right, right. Uh, what did... Um so hopefully we'll stay abreast of everything that's going on. I don't think it's going to stop anytime soon. They seem no, to be I just marching, think they, these babies, the name, what was her name, Naomi, 
Her name is Naomi uh, Wadler. Wadler. Oh, no, Naomi met Wadler. She's, she's, oh, that's, love her. Love her, just wanted mm -hmm. to hug her. Yes. You know what I mean? What, oh. All right. Like father, like son. In Trump scandal news, you hear that? Like father, like son. <laughs> <laughs> While President Donald Trump's alleged mistresses, Stormy Daniels and Karen McDougal, have recently sat down for interviews, we're told that Donald Trump Jr. reported, lover won't kiss and tell. Sources say that while at least one of the big morning show reached out to Aubrey O'Day, who has said she had an affair with Don Jr. in 2012, she declined to talk. You think she was threatened? Is that what she declined? I don't know, but did you see the Stormy Daniels, Daniels interview? This baby was like, you know, I... I did think that if I look, she loved him. She knew he was married. He didn't talk about his wife too much, except that she was brilliant. This is uh, the old Donald Trump, the the, the now, father. Was that Stormy or was that Cam? Was that, which one was on the TV? So, uh, everybody's having affairs now. Yeah. The lady that had a whole interview with the uh, attractive uh, the um so the white guy. You talking about uh, the white? Uh, she would only speak with um. He's really attractive. His name is um. So Karen McDougal, I think, had a long-term relationship with okay him. with the junior. And Stormy, I think, was like you know just want to have some fun and keep it moving. <laughs> no, no, no. I love the lady that I watched the interview for like thirty minutes. But you're not talking. Yeah, McDougal. You're not talking about the sixty minutes, though. You're talking. It was about like the other what one. you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, I think that was McDougal. I think that was Anderson Cooper. Yeah, Anderson Cooper. I said he was attractive. Mc McDougal. Okay, mm -hmm. so she yeah. uh, she was yeah, believable yeah. to me. I, yeah, and she said, you know, she didn't want to hurt the wife and all of that. I, I think she, you know, was a little but the bottom line, she had an affair with a married man. She, okay. she did a married man. There you go. Um, we don't we ain't gonna put no put no thing on the man. It's all her fault. I didn't say that. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. That's what you're saying. It's, 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 Okay. Was in the right but they both were wrong. Okay. He talked about his daughter a little too more pedophilish. Oh, he does. It's oh, I thought it was me. Weird. I it's thought it was weird. me. She it's was like, she weird. didn't think anything was wrong with it. She just thought, she just thought. And both of them said he talked about, oh, you remind me of my daughter. Yes, but you're like oh, you're her age. Like oh, my yeah. daughter. Well, she blew my life. Okay. Okay. So let's get into unless y'all want to, you guys want to speak about this. Everybody's having an affairs and in the, the Trump, Trump camp. In the Trump camp, the sons with the kids, and he went to Florida. Whatever That's I can't lot. remember. Uh, guys, did y'all see all of that that went on? Did anybody see the interview? Yeah. Yes, we did. Mr. O. Another breaking no. news. Can't say I did. I got engrossed in it, and uh, then I, I was discussing. You saw clips, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, despite my best efforts of watching the game and tweeting my butt off, the final four is set. Uh, the final four starts um, March thirty first. TBS game one is Michigan versus Loyola Chicago. Ah, I don't know. Guys, are, are y'all into the Final Four? Because who do you have on this game? Uh, the, only first, the only team I... Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Miss O. Miss O has us on mute. You're actually really fine because of the fact that I'm like, I'm sorry, sister, like I shouldn't be on this phone call because I don't like TV. I don't... I no, don't, you're supporting us. We miss you. We oh, miss you. No, but we miss you. Don't hang up because we miss you. We love you. We don't get to talk to you, so yeah. and we've got to do lunch. Said, uh, uh, yeah. Okay, well, at least we're bringing you up to date. Yeah, we're bringing you up to date <laughs> on everything. We we got we should have been an hour and a half. Show. This is entertainment for you. Yeah. Okay, so we won't ask Miss O. Um, and uh, we won't ask Miss O. We just would we'll let her be pretty and uh, okay, that's fine. All right. So Michigan, Loyola, Chicago. I mean, and who do you who do you have? Well, the only team left on my bracket is Michigan. My team was my whole bracket was messed up day one. Right. So uh, a lot of upsets, but 
Uh, I'm, I'm rooting for Michigan on this one. All right, I'll take Loyola, uh, Chicago. I don't know why. I just got. I thought they played a hell of a game. Oh my gosh! Can, can I make a quick? No, statement? no, you may not, because I don't want to hear about your brackets <laughs> and uh, the people are stealing my brackets and winning. I don't want to hear. No. <laughs> she called me the other day. My brackets are doing fine. I'm like, oh, get off the phone, woman. Well, well, Ed. Just so you know, last week we picked who was going to basically be in the final four. <laughs> And according to my predictions, all four of the ones that I predicted. Oh, are in the kill four. me now. So just, I just want to give myself a little pat on Hashtag that. Hashtag I can't. Okay, great. I'm using a Philadelphia okay. pen. I'm dying. I'm, I cannot <laughs> wait till August. You just don't even know. We're going to be back to the mortal enemies. All right, so I'll take Loyola for that. And then um, Villanova is versus Kansas. Uh, I'm not going to be with Dorothy. Uh, I'm going to go with Villanova. Yes, ma'am. And... I got to go with Villanova. All right, Villanova, yay! You know, I just, look, these babies out there playing there. Yeah. They're I think, I think heart it's and be soul out. Loyola and, um, I think it's going to be Villanova and Loyola. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah, and Villanova. Yeah. And they're playing at 849. Um, that's so sad. And I, I think the winner of all for me, I I'll think it's going to be Villanova. I'll take Villanova. Yes. Okay. Yes, I do. I, I like Villanova. I said I'd oh, like them. She likes them this week. Gotcha. You may kiss my grits. Kiss my <laughs> grits. Just kiss them. Okay? okay? I didn't say I didn't like Villanova, but they were playing, I think, West Virginia. I like West Virginia. Oh, you know what? You know what? I'm going to call my father on you. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call my father and tell him you bother me about these games. <laughs> He's going to be like, well, Millie, you know, and then it, he'll be on your yes. side. I'm telling you, if he saw you, he'd just hug and kiss you. Okay, who we got? What we got? Oh, God. So I, I, you do that one. Uh, okay, um, I'll do this one. This is this sucks. Um, this really just sucks, sucks, sucks. But okay, so if you, I don't know if you've been down here, Ed, but there's um, on 210. There's a road called Kirby Road, which is the most dangerous, dangerous road. I want to say in PG County. So a lady was struck and killed on 210 off of Kirby Road, and she was on her way to a job interview. And if I'm correct, I think she was like 21 or 22 years old, and she was tra tragically killed on that road. Hashtag mm -hmm. I can't. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. How so anyway, we're how gonna we, Oh Lord. Is there a light there? I can't remember. I can see Kirby Road. Well, but it's the most dangerous road. If, if it's not, it'll be a light there now. Because oh, you know yeah, how not, that is. Well, well it ain't been no to light. Die to get a light. But anyway. This baby was gorgeous and young and beautiful. The oh. Trump administration hits Iranian hacker network with sanctions, indictments, and vast global campaigns. Oh, that came on last week, JV. Uh, why is he messing with the Iranians? Was at, uh, the Iranian hacker network? They did a whole bunch of that's a whole bunch of stuff going on with the Iranian. Okay, great. all right. Well, uh, what are you want to stay tuned one? for that one? Stay tuned for that one. Uh, Ed, did you hear about that one? Uh, yes, I have. And again, uh, again, a distraction, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I know. laughs> Uh, this clown wants to go to war, and that's all he's and that's it, and that's talking all. about even during his campaign. Nobody likes so us. He's, mm -hmm. getting, he's, he's getting what he wants. I don't even think he cares who he goes to war with at this point. Let's just go to war. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He does uh -huh, Let's go to war. <laughs> Be quiet, JB. That's like that's all. Like a board game. Whenever he's going to war. I ain't never seen that's nobody. That's the name either. of the board game. He, his let's favorite go to war. game. Whatever exactly. I gotta do to piss off yeah. anybody, I can. All right, guys. So this one here has been all over the place. I know everybody's like really. Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. How do you pronounce it? Zuckerberg. I don't Zuckerberg. even know why you put a Zucker on there. Zuckerberg is going before Congress. Mm -mm. Facebook is drawing scrutiny from the main U.S. privacy watchdog and members of Congress over how the personal data of 50 million users was obtained by a data analytics firm that helped elect President Trump. Wow. wow. So you mean to tell me this Facebook Live that we so love oh, mm -hmm. is part of... Your yep. Well, well there you can download like your report because they've been recording all kind oh, of wow. messages, phone, all kinds of stuff, and it's really bad. Yeah. I'm
So, um, how are y'all feeling about the Facebook um, issues these days? Anybody got anything to say about that? Well, I know, Miss O, you're like, um, I'm not even She's not even on Facebook. Media, she she so don't matter. Like, they ain't, they ain't going like, to report whatever. her. Whatever. <laughs> they got no reports on Miss O. You're like, whatever. <laughs> They might have got that, that that picture of her looking all sexy in that photo shoot she did like two years ago. I was like, oh, mama, I need, I need to get in the gym. Yes, ma'am. Can I? Both of them. Yeah, they might got that one. They might get. <laughs> Ed, we already know what you're going to say. So we gonna... Yeah, go ahead, Ed. Let them have it. Please let them have it. Uh, Ed's uh, conspiracy, I Ed. normally don't post on Facebook like I did when I first joined because uh, the whole social media thing to me has gotten played out. Oh, okay, but, gotcha. Um, again, this is another opportunity for us to pull something together, our own resources, start our own website, do the things we need to do because really Facebook wasn't for us to begin with, but mm -hmm. hey, mm -hmm. we're on it, we enjoy it. But, um, Personally, I mean, Mark Zuckerberg can do whatever he wants. I could care less because, you know, social media is just entertainment purposes for me, and I guess it depends on what outlet you use it for. Entertainment purposes, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so do you think maybe, because this is my spin on, do you think maybe we need not be so personal with our information and approach it from, like you say, more of an entertainment purposes only? Oh, of course, of course, and, and I'm, I'm real big on it's not what you post, it's who you post to. Okay, good point. And when we, we, we put all our business out there, and we're so, and, and I was actually having this discussion with, uh, in a group the other day, and I said, we're more so private with, you know, keeping things on our phone, we don't like to share this, share that, but we will give somebody our social security number and all this, and we'll put it out there for the public to see. That's backwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's backwards. You need to keep your private stuff. I mean, yeah, we want to share, you know, things that go on in our lives, but I don't need to know every five minutes, you know, you're cooking, you know, your green. Asparagus, right. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I used to tell a buddy of mine, you know, let me know when you go. I mean, every time you go out of town, I'm going to send somebody to come around your house. He says, oh, we're leaving at 5.05 in the morning. Okay, Bert, I'll be there at 5.10. Okay. Oh, you know, you right. Tell everybody what you're doing. Yes. Well, it's can I, enjoy can I speak from a, yeah. a reformed, like, uh, person <laughs> who used to be heavy on social media okay. and just, like, totally walked away? Um you know, you guys know I had like 5,000 Facebook friends. We do know. Me, posting all kinds of stuff. I haven't been on Facebook, I think, now and since, since maybe October of last year, I think is when I right. haven't been back on Facebook. But even, um, I even recently, well, January, I got off of Instagram. So I don't have any social media whatsoever. But I can honestly say that um, when, when I was on there, it you know, what he said is correct. I mean, I think that we do share way too much. And I think the problem now is that, like, everybody feels like this is a norm. Like, I, I mean, I've been around, since I've been off, I've been around, of course, majority of people that I'm around have still have everything. So it's like, I'm with them, and, and I'm like, okay, well, can, can you be present with me? Like, can we actually have dinner without you, you know, scrolling through your timeline? Can we actually have an actual conversation without you updating your status? Can, I mean, it's just, it's just really eye-opening for me to mm -hmm. be able to be on the other side of it because then I actually see how many uh, relationships actually suffer, Eggs can with, suffer from it. Not all yeah. people, but Amen. a lot of them do suffer from it, you know? And um, so, again, I'm not on there, so it, I don't know how it affects the people that are still on there, but I would say that I agree with what he said. I mean way too much personal information is shared. I mean, like he said, people know when you're going out of town, these houses could get robbed. Mm -hmm. They know the, the cars you have, the clothes you have, the jewelry you have. Yeah, you know? that's <laughs> right. That's right. Yeah, yeah I, um, definitely got I, I'm, I'm definitely judgmental on Facebook. I don't even try to, like if you're trying to date me, I'm looking at your Facebook page. If you answer wrong, you say something, I, it's like a no. And two, if you're talking about, oh, Bees ancient and uh, uh, no, I block, I delete and block and block and b delete. I, I I just can't. It's I'm I judgmental. Judge I wish it was. Mental. You don't even believe what my ma baby mama did. She took me to court and my kid. Oh, for real? Okay, delete. 
So I, I think. So I think I think that, in my opinion, I think that's the case of just not of having diarrhea the mouth. You have some people who literally will say what they feel or what they're going through and you have some people who hold it in so just because a person doesn't actually speak it doesn't mean they're not still going through it and not still have and not still have those characteristics and things going on in their lives yeah that's true so you just people, never know but you got some people that post all that stuff because they just don't know how to keep things to themselves right you might dismiss some people but then you might meet somebody on the street and he's a good manipulator, and he knows how to keep it quiet until he's gotten what he wants, and then you realize that he's the same exact person that you be blocked on Facebook. Exactly. Can, can I ask you one quick question, then we're going to move on. When you decided to stop using social media altogether, did you go through any kind of, I'm not going to say withdrawals, but did you go through any period where you really did miss it, or was it like, wow, relieved and done? No, 100%. I mean, like, honestly, like, for the first, I'm going to say probably for the first week, I just was like, what the hell am I going to use my phone for? Like, I really, my phone, I'm looking at my phone like, okay, well, what is this thing for? I mean, because I was so used to using social media at pauses of my life. Like, if I'm sitting in traffic, let me just scroll through my timeline. If I'm on a train, let me scroll through my timeline. Yep. If I'm in the gym, let me scroll through my timeline. Yep. If I'm at home, sitting in the house bored, let me scroll through my timeline. Like, that was my, you know, my filler, my pause. So when I took that away, I'm like, well, damn, what am I going to do? Like, so for a while, like, I'm saying for like a while. And then it, it didn't hit me in, in different ways because first it was like, well, what am I going to do in my life? And then second it was like, well, damn, I don't know what's going on with my friends and everybody. Mm -hmm. Then it came down to like, even with this situation, y'all talking about different things and a lot of this stuff I would always find out through social media. But because yeah. I'm not, I do feel like I'm disconnected from the world. But the positive from that is that I'm disconnected from the world. Oh, so okay, I yeah. get to create my own world and I'm not, I'm not, my world is not filtered through what social media puts out there. I, I get the chance to, to write my own story and not be influenced right. by all this negativity. So right. it's a lot of positives and I've had a chance to write. So now that I feel those voids with working out, writing, spending actual quality time with my friends and family and stuff and just really fostering real relationships rather than those through social media. Mm. Alright, well I will see you Saturday. Uh, don't forget, you still owe me a birthday <laughs> present. Yeah, okay, so the, <laughs> the CDC, oh my goodness, I forgot about this one. CDC admits 98 million Americans were given cancer virus via the polio shot. They admitted between 1955 and 1963 over 98 million Americans received one or more doses of a polio shot, which was contaminated with a cancer-causing virus called simian, vacuolating virus 40. So it's called SV40. The CDC quickly took down the page, of course they did, Judy, mm -hmm. along with Google, but the site was luckily cached and saved to symbolize this grand admission. I like to say cache. I know it's cash. Okay. But I like to say cachet. It makes me feel like French. Okay. Yeah, I knew it. Because cause I know you, editor. <laughs> of all. Oh my gosh, she gets me all the time like my grandmother well, did. That's my auntie side. I show auntie side, but I like to say cachet. Yeah. Well, it's cash. But I like to say cachet. It makes me feel <laughs> sexy. Makes me feel sexy. <laughs> okay, Oh gosh, oh gosh. She is sexy tonight, guys. I tried. I got the, I got the Beyonce on. Yeah. Well, I just have one thing to say. Hashtag I can't. What happened? Oh, okay. on well, the next one? No, the one you just talked about. Oh, hashtag I can't. Yeah, but then somebody, I heard something I about that. Oh, my gosh. So we wonder why everybody 